a donkey. A Florida man attacked an ATM for a very strange reason. It gave him too much money. Florida man is arrested after deputies say he rigged the door to his home in an attempt to electrocute his pregnant wife. Police arrested an Orlando man for attacking a flamingo. It's a breakfast club, bitches. Donkey of the day. With Charlemagne the God. I don't know why y'all keep letting him get y'all like this. Nope, it's not me. It's Florida. Uh, donkey of the day for Thursday, April 11th goes to a Florida man named Wiley James Weeks. Now, what does your Uncle Charla always say about the great state of Florida? The craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida and today is no exception. See, St. Petersburg cops allege that Wiley James Weeks was drunk, unsteady on his feet. He wasn't getting sturdy and he smelled of liquor. That right there will always get you a drunk and disorderly charge in America. But you add on to that the fact that he was butt ass naked sitting in the trash can on a public sidewalk, you are absolutely going to jail. Now, Wiley, when caught, didn't even try to blame it on the alcohol. Nope. Wiley said he was not subject to arrest because he was allowed to be drunk and disorderly and sit naked in a trash can on a public sidewalk. You don't have to listen to me or believe me. Let's go to the New York Daily News for the report, please. A 35-year-old Florida man taken into custody over the weekend told police he believed he was allowed to be drunk and disorderly and sit naked in a trash can on the public sidewalk. Wiley James Weeks was found that way late Saturday night, when he also refused to identify himself on the grounds he was being illegally detained in downtown St. Petersburg. Mm. Weeks was charged with misdemeanor counts of disorderly intoxication and resisting an officer without violence. This isn't even Wiley's first time doing this. He's got a long rap sheet, and one of his prior busts came after Weeks and a male friend were spotted drunk and naked on a Tampa street after they exited a bar. Wiley has watched Sesame Street one too many times. If you feel that you like to be drunk and naked and living in a trash can, you, my friend, have been diagnosed with what doctors at South Carolina State University have called OTGS, commonly referred to as Oscar the Grouch Syndrome. If you want to know the doctor's name from South Carolina State who did this study, look no further. Dr. Leonard McKelvey. Okay, I have an honorary doctorate from South Carolina State, so I am able to have these studies. Here's the thing. You may not have known about Oscar the Grouch, okay? This is, so this is something you may not have known about Oscar the Grouch, right? He had antisocial personality disorder, which is why he was shown to lack empathy and loves to lie to others in order to manipulate them. His irritability or grouchiness is another way this uh, manifested, okay? Or maybe he's just mad he's naked living in a trash can while the rest of y'all living life like it's golden on Sesame Street. Why mm -hmm. am I bringing this? This up because I keep seeing people refer to Wiley James as Oscar the Grouch. And I'm like, no, no. Oscar had it way worse because Wiley seems to be making these dumbass choices to live like this. Wiley is making these dumbass choices to get drunk in these Florida streets and then take off perfectly good good clothes and go sit in trash cans. Okay, he's making a choice. Poor choices based off alcohol to break the law. When I look at this man's rap sheet, just go to the Smoking Gun website. It, it, it says it overflows. Okay, it says his rap sheet overflows with theft, disorderly conduct, panhandling, criminal mischief, and other misdemeanor convictions. This man is a career misdemeanor, and I'm not talking Missy Elliott, so don't compare him to Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. Okay, Oscar was a grouch, not a misdemeanor. Oscar was a lot of things, okay? He was miserable, he was argumentative, he was unhygienic, rude, but he didn't have a rap sheet. SSPD, Sesame Street Police Department, never had to arrest Oscar for anything. So don't compare him to a human making poor drunken choices in Florida. Now, Wiley pleaded guilty to both counts of being drunk, naked, and disorderly, and he was fined $520. Question, how is this gonna fix the problem? This man is clearly an alcoholic who doesn't need to keep getting arrested and adding stripes to his rap sheet. He needs to be sentenced to mandatory rehab for alcohol. This is the problem I have with this country. We truly don't know how to even fix problems. Okay, this man don't need to keep getting arrested. He needs help. But you know what? If Oscar the Grouch was never provided help on Sesame Street, Sesame Street, a place where folks went to develop early language, literacy skills, vocabulary, and reading and writing fundamentals, if he, Oscar the Grouch, couldn't help get help there, why would I expect uh, for this man to get help on a Florida street? Please give Wiley James Weeks the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey mm. of the day.
don't care about people like we say we do. Mm. Mm. This man got kinks, though. This man was spotted leaving a bar with his male friend, and then him and the male friend got drunk on a Tampa street. Drunk and naked on a Tampa street. Mm-hmm. Sounds like they couldn't wait to me. <laughs> wait. My personal opinion. Mm. Wait for what? So they got behind closed doors. He couldn't wait for his bussy to get activated. That's what he couldn't <laughs> wait for. Okay? Since you always want to ask these stupid questions, you know exactly what I mean. But you just want things spelled out for no damn reason. Okay? Always remember a butt is just a bussy waiting to get activated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who All is right. That clown, yo? Well, thank you for that donkey today, sir. Yes, indeed. Donkey of the Day is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to MichaelTheBull.com. That's MichaelTheBull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.